Hey everybody, it's Pumpkin. Sorry, I'm trying not to get too loud because Brian is sleeping. Yeah. Anyway, um, little update. Yeah. Let you know what's going on. And, uh, um, I'm just really excited to be able to say hi. Yeah. Um, but anyway, enjoy the show. I hope to see you real soon. Well, hello, everybody. It is Tuesday, March 5th, and I stayed up past the time that Brian went to bed. I started working on my Ever Moment this evening. It is the... The Pink Peony... And I don't know if I ever showed you my, like, actual couch setup, but uh, I'm all snuggled in here. I've got my, my containers here, and um, the label maker that Michelle gave me, love it. I finagle it a little bit, though, uh, and I showed that in the one where it was just music. But I put um, one that faces the inside of the lid, so if I leave them open, I can see what they are without having to futz with them. But I put the symbol and the DMC number on the outside. I do one showing toward the inside, and then I have one that's removable, so that if I have multiple trees going... There we go. Or if I just forget what the hell I'm doing. Let's see here. There we go. Um, but yeah. And then, of course, my light pad. And here's my super sticky... My super sticky Vicky pads. And I use those to just kind of keep my tray from sliding. It's a little bit of an angle here. Um, I have... These were... The box came from Jan. And I've I kept thinking I was going to use the blue tack, but I never do. But I've got my lump of Aileen's in here. I moved it to a big box so that I can get my multi-placer in there. I like the little round ones, but the big nine-placer or whatever it is doesn't fit. I've got my little trash and strays and my extra placers all loaded up. And my good tweezers. And let's see here. Here is my very favorite pen from Annette. Um, I keep the single in. <clears throat> I very rarely ever take that out. I tried last night because I was doing like threes and fives, but then I didn't have anything to push. I don't like to switch pens because I just love this one. Um... But yeah, I'll just pull out the multi, switch it out with one of the other ones, and go. And let's see. So that's all of this, just within arm's reach. And my little box, um, my small one, 
for bringing downstairs. That was from Cinny. And let's see. These I got at Dollar Tree. They're just little bookmark magnets. I use that to hold my plastic down. Now, I took the white paper off of this and I put on the clear paper from Cinderella because I like the clear. But um, for those of you who have worked with the clear paper, you know that when you fold it back, it's really hard to tell where your paper ends because <laughs> you can't see it. It's invisible. Um, and then I'll end up putting drills on the paper, blah, 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 whatever. So I put a piece of parchment paper down just so I could see where I was ending. And I'm actually going to put this away for the night. So let me just put this, clean this up a little bit here. Um, let's see. So I take my little sticker and I put it right there. And let's see how much of a mess I make. No, I do it on the sofa because um, I can see when I spill. And again, one-handed. Because I like to live on the wild side. Okay. Get in there. Did I get them all? Nope. Come on. What is it about these trays? It's like magnetic up against that back side. I don't understand. I wouldn't normally make such a mess because I'd have my pen to flick them loose, but... Again, one-handed here. Come on. Seriously? There. All right. So here's a stray. Is that a stray? I thought it was a stray. Yeah, I did. So that's stray. And... up. Normally I don't make quite such a mess. I mean close, but not quite such a mess. I think I, nope, there's one more. Okay, I got them all now. Yep, oh, there goes my pen. Okay. And, because I got my, oops, I got my, my sticky vicky pads everything from sliding all over me and then let's see I think you saw I'll stick my tray just right there spout up or it just spills all over you um, so I can pour whatever or take a break drink some coke thank you Michelle And then my various trays. Um, ideally, if I were to design my own tray, so listen up all you inventors out there. Clear is the best. Because you can see through with the light pad for the dimples and divots and all that stuff. This one has the funnel so that you don't spill all over like you just saw. Oh, excuse me. I just, I burped a little bit there. I'm sorry. Because I drank the Coke. However, in my opinion, the sides are too high on this. There's way too much exercise involved in using this one. Just my opinion. If, but when I shake this one, I do lose some occasionally. So somewhere in between would be nice. So the perfect tray, clear, halfway in between these two for height with this spout. That would be ideal. And 
make them so they're stackable. Because that's the one other thing that I like about the green boats is you can stack them up and put them away really easily. And these don't stack unless you just happen to have, like, this one fits inside of that one and then this one fits inside of that one. But in general, they don't, they don't stack. Now, of course, in order to stack, the sides need to be flared, which then means when you shake, the shit goes flying out. So, eh, well, whatever. Figure it out. But, Diamond Art Club patent that and then I would like a royalty deal <laughs> so anyway all right so this is my setup here um, now it's really fancy I have a pillow and a couch cushion and my big old belly so this is where I I do most of my painting. Um and then oh I was gonna put this stuff away. Okay. So let's oop stuff's going on. It's time to wash my pads. The sticky vicky pads. Alright. So I would just take my little bookmarks off. Voila. Now, if I had so many drills that this wouldn't stick down, and I had a dog that shed, yeah. my little bookmark magnets. And Vicky, oh, look what I did. My first washi tape um, usage. did it. Finally did it. And then I still felt guilty doing it because it's too nice to just chuck. <clears throat> but, yeah. So there we go. That's how far I got tonight. And let me put the lids on these so we can go upstairs. Because if you saw my post on Facebook I finished I'm just gonna put these in here for now I finished Alice in Wonderland hey who wants to go see it not Alice in Wonderland what the hell am I talking about I finished Cinderella All right. so let me just kind of clean this up I'll get the rest of the morning. This goes up and down stairs with me every day. You know how I said I was going to have one set up for down here and one for upstairs? Mm. Well, yeah, if I had a smaller painting, I could bring a little one. But my light pad, I only have one light, I only have one light pad. And so i got to haul that up and down anyway. Oops. And I, I clipped my, my painting to the light pad anyway, so... Oh, and then this is, if you guys haven't seen it, new people, clear chopping mat. And then I actually, this time is unusual, but I clipped my chopping mat to the light pad, and then I stuck the canvas to the sticky pads. And then I keep sliding it around and wrapping it, because it's wrapped around as I move, because I go top to bottom. Okay, this is all repeat information, but you know, there's always new people, right? I think I got like... I don't know, a, 10 people this week, last week, something. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not keeping count. I just know there's a few, few new people. Okay. So, let's see. I can't deal with, I, can't, I hate leaving a mess when I go to bed, but okay. Here we go. <clears throat> um... Uh, we're gonna 
go outside real quick, I guess, and have our last smoke of the evening, and then we'll go upstairs. Um, and I'll catch you all up on what's going on lately. So, let's go outside. There's something in my shoe. Oh, I put it on wrong. Okay. Yeah, so that's my my little cozy corner. Okay. <sighs> oh my gosh. <sighs> so it has been a very um, emotionally exhausting Two weeks here. You know, I, I think we tend to be. Ah, I hate to say stupid. I prefer optimistic. <laughs> or I hate to say unrealistic. I like to say hopeful. I don't know. Whatever. The, glass half empty half full yeah you know fear of the unknown but hope for the best whatever but um you know it, it, keep thinking that the business is going to take off he's got a great idea i mean i don't know if you guys ever pay attention in your towns the pressure washing companies they drive by and their truck looks like it's held together with you know some you know duct tape and hopeful thoughts but um he, i mean he's got a really nice setup and because of the way he built it he keeps his costs down as far as you know water usage and chemicals and all that because it's like extremely um efficient whatever so we keep thinking it's gonna pick up it's gonna pick up but it's really hard to advertise when you're used to advertising through newspapers and phone books because we're old people it's all social media now so it's not easy but anyway so you know it doesn't happen overnight and with all of the scrambling every month to keep on top of the bills you know we haven't really spent a lot of time on the social media so those of you who you know, might have noticed or subscribed or liked the Facebook page you can see I'm trying to really start kicking it out. And um, one of uh, the subscribers is, that's what she does for a living. So she's been helping us. Um, well, actually, we've had lots of people helping. But there's one person in particular who, that's her career. You know, another person was website. So we had somebody help us with the website. We've got this one um, now helping with the um social media and marketing and all that and it's all still kind of right over our heads search engine optimization and add-ons and blah, blah 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 it's confusing as hell but just you know pound the shit out of it basically i guess i don't know just throw it all at the wall and see what sticks so i'm trying to get posts out because you know if we would have started with that like right off the bat by now, they always say, like, I don't know, like between three to six months is when you really start noticing it pick up. Well, yeah, if we would have started three months ago, we'd probably be okay, but we we're in too much of a panic mode three months ago about everything else. It's always panic mode. Um, so it's like, okay, you just, you gotta find time to do it. So, eh. But anyway, that's why another reason why, even though things have been calm now for about four or five days, I'm still not doing videos because I'm working on the social media stuff, creating ads and all this other shit. And da, 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 da. So today, um, well, some of you know, some of you don't, whatever. We have to sell the house. Can't afford it. It's just, there's no way. And it was getting really scary last well, two weeks ago is when it started that we knew, okay, we don't have enough to cover the mortgage. Shit. Um, panic mode. And trying to find a way, you know, I'm like, 
like I have a, I have some stuff that was given to me that, you know, I don't really care about or want. I've just been hanging on to it for whatever, sentimental, I don't know. For example, I have a 1975 bottle of Dom Perignon. I don't want it. And so, you know, I, I Googled it before to see what it was worth. And I was thinking it was worth a lot more than it actually is. But it's still, for the right buyer, it could be worth something. Well, I ended up finding all these, you know, wine websites that buy your collection and sent pictures and everything. Well, none of them want it. Like, shit. But anyway, so I have that. And then, um, I know, like, Heidi, uh, diamond painting... With orchid, orchid diamond painting. God, why can't I think of it? Anyway, she said that she had to sell her her mom's jewelry, and she's like, "Oh God, don't do it, don't do it." And I, you know, I'm, oh, yeah. I mean, we were in such a panic that, you know, I threw everything in a bag and was gonna head down to the pawn shop because it's like my great grandmother's jewelry, my grandmother's jewelry, my mother's jewelry, everything. But I'm still. I don't want to sell that stuff to a pawn shop. You're not going to get anything for it. But that's kind of more of a last resort. But again, if you're in panic mode, you're not going to get anything because you're just going to sell it fast, like immediately. So I started digging through my closet because we got to hide, um, got to hide the valuables. Uh, they listed the house today. Um, Signs in the ground, the photographer was here, took all the pictures, da da da, open house next weekend. So we gotta start putting away valuables. So I put all the non costume jewelry in a bag and thinking I'm gonna go through it and see what really, you know, means something to me and whatever. Um, but it got to be Friday, and Friday we were 30 days late on the mortgage, and I was like, holy shit, what are we going to do? Because the bank was calling, like, me and Brian and blowing up our phones, because when you're 30 days late, they start the foreclosure, pro la, 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 foreclosure process. So, yeah. Anyway, Guardian Angels stepped in and helped us out and made the mortgage payment for us to buy us a little more time, because once you start the foreclosure process the bank takes over the listing on the house they can take it back off the market and we didn't have it listed yet because the realtor wasn't available um till friday whatever it's just it's a big old clusterfuck is what it is so they listed it today and we bought ourselves another month to try and get the house sold apparently average days on market here is about 45 days well, yeah, mortgage was due again on the 1st, and uh, whatever, so I'm trying to figure it all out. But um, I have, like, I have a coach wallet that I think I used for, I don't know, not long at all. Um, it's, like, almost perfect condition, so I'm going to try and sell that. And then I have another one, Tori Birch. I had no idea what the hell this thing is. My my stepmom, she's into all that name brand couture, whatever you call this shit. I don't know. I, I buy my purses at, you know, Target, whatever. So I've got that still in the box. I looked up that. That one looked like it was, they're selling them, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks. The coach wallet, a couple hundred bucks, whatever. The jewelry, I have no idea. I tried pawning my old engagement ring for my first marriage one other time, and they were going to give me like 500 bucks, and it was originally like, I don't know, like, who knows, a few thousand dollar ring. Because, you know, yellow gold and marquee diamonds aren't in anymore, but whatever. So, I don't know, maybe I'll show you guys my wallets and see if anybody wants them. <laughs> Not wants them, like, I'm going to send them, like, I want to buy them. Anyway. So, that was a big old rambling, but I haven't talked to you guys in, like, two weeks, so. So, anyway, that's what's been going on with us. So, we're kind of still in panic mode because, um, you know, got the house payment made and got the house listed today, but the ice maker's broken, the air conditioner upstairs has been broken, and apparently our sprinklers aren't working, so we're trying to get all this shit fixed so that it doesn't 
cause issues with selling the house, well, the air conditioner is going to be $1,000 to fix. Fuck. Son of a bitch. So that's when Brian's like, well, what do we do? I'm like, well, we have to fix it. So that's when I started digging through the jewelry because I need to come up with $1,000 to fix the freaking air conditioner now. <laughs> and then, I don't know, he's got somebody coming out to look at the sprinklers free estimate for repairs or whatever. And then the ice maker and all this other crap that's all of our appliances are like 14 years old and they're all taking a shit all at the same time. Um, Brian's been looking at more apartments online. I think he's going Saturday with Quinn to go actually make appointments and look at them. So, eh, I have to work on Saturday. So he's going to go look. And, um, hmm. Yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. The, uh, the complete, like, the, the sky is falling panic has subsided slightly. It's still falling. It's just falling a little more controlled right now. But, um, yeah. So that's where we're at. But, yeah, we could use your, your well wishes, positive vibes, good hopes, good luck, whatever. Sell the house quick. Quick, quick, quick. So, um, but yeah, I don't know if anybody cares. <clears throat> hey, any of you collect uh, champagne? <laughs> or anybody know anybody? So I have this uh, 1975 Dom Parion unopened. So, and Fill level is uh, right up there. So, don't think it's been evaporating in the last, what, 40 years? 44 years? Something like that. So, anyway, so I got that. And let's see here. I'll show you what else I got. Go upstairs. Oh, I gotta turn off these lights. Hang on. Okay, a YouTube garage sale. Okay. Let's see here. So she's done. Gorgeous. Beautiful. Love it. Love it. Love it. Now, I didn't notice this from the picture. I didn't pay that close of attention. Oh, oh here I go over here. These are all little mice. There's one, two, three, four. And there's another one down there. And another, there's little mice all over the place. Isn't that cute? I didn't notice it at first. Well, I didn't notice it until it was done, to tell you the truth. But yeah, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's really too bad that the AV gems don't show up on camera because they're so pretty. Okay. Now. Let's see. Let me put this away. Um, uh, let's see here. Where did I put it? Oh, here. So, Diamond Art Club, Cinderella. Um, it is. Oh, here. 
42 by 59 and 33 colors absolutely beautiful um, I'll show you what's left over here So these are the leftovers, plenty of everything. So didn't even come close to running out. And let's see, garbage drills, where did I put them? Um, nom, 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 nom. Where did I put the garbage? Cause you know, I, got, I always gotta show you my, my garbage. Let's see, is this it? This is it. Here's my garbage. Can't get it open because I'm one-handed. Okay, I gotta pause. I can't open it. Okay. That's it. And most of it is those little tiny... There was one color that had out these little babies. Little, whatever but yeah so that was it that's all the garbage so that's awesome um so yeah lots of leftovers tiny bit of garbage love it and now that i've used this i like it i like it i like it um I would say that this is something I would definitely keep using for my whips, but I also like this if I'm going to travel with it. This is certainly nice. I don't know that I'd want to store things long term in there, like leftovers, because I want to be able to see them. And these would all be stacked on top of each other. You wouldn't be able to see it because, you know, that's... That's my storage, so I can see. Okay, anyway, um, so that's that. And let's see here. Uh, okay. I have this. <laughs> it's a leather coach wallet with eight credit card slots, two slots for bills, and a coin purse. And you can see there's a little bit of marks there, but, you know, little tiny dents. But overall, I mean, that looks almost brand new. So if anybody's interested in that, Email me at goneofmymeds at gmail.com. I'm selling this. And let's see what else do I have. Um, let me pause you. Yeah. Okay, so I have this. I had never heard of this because, again, I don't follow trends. Still in the box. Oh, this is very professional. <laughs> so it is style five zero 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 nine oh nine one. Still even has the silica cute box though, huh? Still has the plastic and a little foam thing. It's another zip. Um, this one's seven and, and three quarters by four. This one, um, let's measure it. Mm -hmm. 
this one seven and a half. by, I don't know, four and a quarter, something like that. This one's seven and three quarters by, about four-ish, three and three quarters. But, um, here's the leather. Silver, gold. I should be on the Home Shopping Network. It's like one of the people. See, it's still got the foam. This one has two, four, and a long one. And two, four. So it's the same exact insides as that. As far as what it has, the accordion style with the coin purse. Let's see if there's anything in the coin purse. A lottery ticket. I won a million dollars. Let's see what's in here. Oh, here. Oh, look, she left the price tag on it. <laughs> okay. Well, there you go. Okay, so here it is. It is the Amanda Zip Continental. And isn't that nice? She left the price tag on it for me for Christmas. Suggested retail, $195. Oh, so, yeah. So this is like a $200 wallet. That one I saw online. They sell new for like $215. You can get them like in the discount places for like 140. But this one's brand spanking new, never used. And that one is slightly used. So if anybody's interested in either one of these, um, I guess I'd consider this one brand new. So brand new prices, you know, but of course not full price and then you know excellent condition let me know if anybody is interested and uh go on find me at gmail.com so there we go i'm not going to make you watch me put that away <clears throat> now um my framing job <laughs> <clears throat> Was it was semi permanent framing? Can you see that? It's all like, yeah, you can see it. <clears throat> um, so just a tip check out Mindy, um, Mindy's Diamond Painting Channel. She did a framing with fabric and she used spray adhesive, and I didn't, I just Slap that together and it's all sagging. So probably be a good idea. Spray adhesive to the cardboard, whatever. But I will um I will link her framing video in at the end of this. No, I'll put it in the eye. Um check out how she did it because mine disaster. Okay, what not to do. Okay. All right, I think that's pretty much all I got to say. Um, yeah, so now I gotta clean up this mess. Anyway, uh, I think I'll try and edit this and get it put out real quick so that, you know. Um, let's see, today's Tuesday, tomorrow's Wednesday. Maybe I could do a premiere for tomorrow night for after he goes to bed, like, I don't know, whatever time you're watching this, I guess. I'm thinking like 10 Eastern, because then I could 
talk to you guys, maybe. But anyway, yeah. Um, so final analysis, 10 stars out of five star scale. That's what I put on their website for my review. I would absolutely buy this for the most scrutinizing consumer. Awesome. Love it. The shading's beautiful. Um, diamonds were fantastic. Everything about it was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Love it, love it, love it. So that's my final summation of Cinderella. And I hope to talk to y'all soon. Um, yeah, don't send me any more of those. I, I gotta get caught up again. Okay. Uh, like, subscribe. I've got my Facebook group and the Diamond Painting Underground. All these things are linked in the description below if you want to join any of those. Um, and of course, Diamond Painting Underground for any of you channels out there. That is meant for channels to, you know, be able to promote each other, promote yourselves. Don't just get carried away with it. But a uh, couple new channels I'm gonna um, do little screenshots. We've got uh, Mindy and I'll show her here. And um, uh, is it Susan? Susan's Diamond Painting? Diamond Painting with Susan? Something like that. Anyway, I was binge watching her today. Um, but I will show, I'm going to do screenshots of the channels that are new that I've been watching over the last couple weeks. And I'll roll them here. Okay. Love you guys. Uh, see you on the next one. And I have no idea what else. I don't know. I don't know. I always do this. I don't want to go. Okay, bye. Seriously? She just turned her channel into a garage sale. She's going to start selling her old shit on YouTube. I don't think that she quite has the idea of how social media works. It's no wonder this business is failing. There's other places for that, like, um, like eBay or Let Go or I have no idea. I don't know what she's thinking. I guess she wants to give you first dibs on the good stuff.